Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some amazing garage sale finds, flips, and a few things that we are painting. I'm going to tell you what I paid for it, show you what I'm going to do to it, and let you know what I'm going to sell it for. You can find everything on my website, upcycledbybreed.com. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any upcycles by Breed. So I found this at one of the sales and it had three of these holders in it. You know, this was a old votive holder. These are really fun for propagating plants. Um, or I got it because I am going to turn these over and repurpose them into some mini cloches. So we will do a fun DIY on those. Into my stash to find some finial tops. Y'all, I save everything. These were some bottle stoppers, and these were some finials that came off of old decor. I use a Gorilla Clear Grip Adhesive to glue my wood to glass. It gives me a second to move it around here, but it does dry quickly. I do let these set and dry overnight. I am upcycling candle lids today for the bases. I save my candles after they've burnt out, pop them in the freezer overnight, and the wax will come right out, and then you've got these beautiful containers to use. For the first two lids, they got two coats of DIY black velvet, then a coat of black wax, and now a coat of white wax. You can find all the paint and products I'm using today on my website, upcycledbybree.com. I will be sure to link it down in the description box below and here in a card above. completed cloche. These will be $12.95 each over on my site. What do y'all think? Is this a hit or a miss? Moving on to cloche number two, I found a metal bird in my stash, so we are going to make a cute little bird cloche. Again, we have DIY, a black velvet, black wax, and now a heavy white wax on this piece. It is getting a layer of DIY golden ticket. This is a beautiful liquid patina that has a metallic gold color. It'll help match the bottom of this piece beautifully. On the last cloche, we're using DIY Pennies from Heaven. This is the copper patina. Now the liquid patinas are self-sealing, so as soon as this is dry, it's on there for good. And with the waxes, they will also cure hard and be a permanent top coat. These finds and flips will be under the collection named Current Thrift Haul. Here's a look at all of the cloches completed. I am in love. I love upcycling these glass domes. Be on the lookout at garage sales and thrift stores. These kitschy horse bookends were $1.50 for the set of two and I couldn't help myself. They're handmade. I love the little vintage eyeballs. The yarn is not in too bad a shape. I will dust it, clean it up a little bit, and then just sell them as is. This little phoenix was pretty, or quail, not sure which it is, 10 cents, and it is ceramic with a painted gold finish. This set of two wall baskets was one of the first things I found and I was able to talk her down to $7, which is still a little pricey, but I love the shape of the baskets and they're in great shape. 
This greenery isn't terrible, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because it's really covering up the beauty of this basket. And I'll put something a little different inside. If I can get this cleaned up, I might end up reusing it. And just like that, instant update. Don't overlook great baskets because of outdated floral. Next up is a great old baking tin with some good patina. It looks like it was a dollar. I love using old kitchen items as current kitchen decor. I've got a couple of pans listed over on my site. These are in the current thrift haul, but you can also find some great items in the kitchen collection. I thought these prints were very cute. They were home interiors originally, it looks like. Uh, September 29th, 2003 is what they're stamped on the back. Pretty little purple flowers and butterflies. And I'll probably go ahead and paint up the frame too. I'm using my favorite DIY green. It is the color aviary and my Klingon F20 brush. If you're looking for a very smooth finish, these Klingon brushes are the way to go. Since the back of these pictures don't come out, I am painting them with the frame on and I want to be pretty careful. would do a dollar on these four pieces of cork board and honestly I don't know what they go for in the store hope this was a good deal but I've seen a lot of DIY projects done with these so I figured this would be a good deal I would grab them and have them on hand set of two for 50 cents little brassy leaves I've got some birds in my bedroom does anybody remember these from grandma's house you know I figured if granny chic's coming back in why not give these a go So these were neighborhood garage sales. They were over on the north side of town. Do they do neighborhood sales where y'all are at? Like the neighborhood kind of all gets together. Everybody does a sale on the same day, which of course brings more traffic. Drop me a comment below. Let me know if your area does those kinds of sales and let me know where you're from. So at a different sale, there were some glass bottles. I didn't do all of them. I just grabbed some of the unique ones, 25 cents each. So this is a log cabin syrup collector's flask. I'll look this one up online and see if it really has any collection value. Um, the back says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. And there's the Statue of Liberty. So this might have a little value. I'll look it up. And if it does, I will pop it in right here above. But I will leave the um, advertisement on that since it looks so good. This one says half pint, so it was an alcohol bottle, um, but I liked the texture on it. Uh, Skippy Super Chunk Peanut Butter. The old labels are so much cooler than the new ones. The new ones have like QR codes and stuff, but 
I still save some jars because if nobody saves them, then we're not gonna have antique jars in a hundred years, right? This one is a Liberty jar. It has a gold lid. Looks like it was food, but it doesn't have any other markings on it. There is a little faux crack in it, like the actual Liberty Bell. That one's neat, and I'm. If you love these thrift haul, garage sale, pick and find videos, leave me a big thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with a friend. It's going to help my channel grow and help me bring you even more amazing content. Now, if you're new here and you haven't already, click that little subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Until Tuesday, I will see y'all later. Bye friends. Come on, man. You must be up here with me. Let's go. Come on. Come on, you beggar. Oh, my goodness. Is this in your way? Okay, come on. Now you can. Come on. <laughs> come on, old lady. All right, y'all. Just so you know, you're not alone. Look at all this junk. This is the rest of the garage sale stuff. I still haven't got through it. But this is what we will go through Tuesday. I have got some super fun things buried deep down in here. Little sneaky peeks for you. So make sure you come back Tuesday and you don't miss out on that. I just hit my hip really hard.